I'm Gustav Odrich. I'm Chief of Vascular Surgery and Endovascular Therapy at Baylor Medicine. The aorta is the largest blood vessel that we have, and an aneurysm once the aorta dilates, becomes larger than normal. We are concerned about an aneurysm because of the risk of rupture. This risk is going to be related to how large the aneurysm is and how fast it's growing. Most often, these aneurysms don't cause any symptoms. Patients find by accident they have an ultrasound or a CT scan and they are detected to have an aneurysm. Occasionally, they can cause pain, they can rupture, or they can cause a little piece of plaque to travel down the stream to the foot and, and cause lower blood supply to the leg. The main reason we want to treat these aneurysms is to prevent rupture. If the patient has a rupture, 90% of the patients don't make it. Either you don't make to the hospital, or if you make to the hospital, you don't make through the operation. What are the main risk factors to have an aneurysm? It's more common in men than women, about two to one. Cigarette smoking is the main risk factor. And then risk factors that promote atherosclerosis, like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, uh, coronary artery disease, pulmonary disease. Also, patients that have a family history of aneurysm have a higher risk. So if you have a first degree sibling, that have an aneurysm or had an aortic aneurysm rupture, you should get a screening ultrasound of the abdomen to look for an aneurysm. For patients that have a family history of aneurysm and have not developed an aneurysm, the main thing is no cigarette smoking and control of blood pressure and cholesterol. 